Uh, all right, this morning we're going to be speaking on uh, um, from the scripture verse, Colossians 3 and verse 2. Colossians 3 and verse 2 says, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Hallelujah. All right, so Colossians 3 and verse 2. Set your minds on things above. If you're ready for this word, I see people saying they're ready, they're ready, they're ready, they're ready. All right, setting your mind is like setting a, a, a thermostat. All right, it's like setting a thermostat. It determines the climate you live in. So let's set our minds on God's word. All right, set our minds on God, God's word. We could try to stop thinking wrong thoughts, first of all, but that immediately brings to mind the thoughts we're supposed to stop thinking. You got that? Instead, we should fill our minds with God's word so wrong thoughts don't have space to even enter in the first place. Are you with me? I hope you're with me this morning and you're hearing me clearly. Jesus said to his disciples, um, that the Holy Spirit would remind them of what um, he had, he had um, taught them. If we look at John 14 and verse 26, the things that he taught them, they will be reminded through the Holy Spirit. So when we file this, you know, when we file the scriptures into our memory, into our memory bank, God's Spirit will access those files. Amen access those files whenever we need them just imagine an amateur pilot for instance flying through their very first storm the plane is in fog so the pilot can't see any landmarks to use for navigation at all but then a voice comes from the control tower saying just listen to me Follow my instructions. I'll guide you safely home. Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, my brothers, he says, I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world in John 16 and verse 33. You see, Paul wrote this. Paul says, do not, be, um, do not be anxious about anything, he says. But in every situation, in every situation by prayer and petition or supplication, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In Philippians 4 6 and 7 now here are a couple examples my brothers and sisters here are a couple examples when we hear unsettling news reports let's try to remember that our true security is found in God so many things in the news we hear these things and you see these things on the news happening right before your eyes do Always remember, remember that our true security is found in God. Amen. And the second thing that I want us to contemplate this morning, when someone criticizes us, let's take what's valid out of what they say. Let's take what is valid and let nobody except God determine your worth. Amen. Let no one, nobody determine your worth by setting our minds on god's word my brothers and sisters we can have peace in any situation that we're faced with any situation that we're faced with so this morning my question is to you are you or any of your friends your colleagues your associates people that you hang around feeling anxious about the news or 
what's going on in the world at this moment. And a lot has been happening. Get together. Get together and take some time to pray about the situations. Amen? Situations that are particularly on your minds. The things that are bugging you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The things that are bugging you out. The things that are on your mind. Let's pray about them. You know, anything that you can think of that is happening right now, this moment that you could think of. Just pause and pray about it. Don't just let it go go by in your th thought bank, in, in your thinking bank. We don't want to, you know, deposit them, them there because the scriptures of God need to be there. And let us thank God that we have the comfort, the comfort, my brothers and sisters, of knowing he's always our security. Mm. Thank the Lord this morning that we have that comfort this morning. We have this comfort in our hearts. We have this comfort deep down in our hearts. We know it. We have this comfort knowing that God, he is always our security. We can always fall back on God. He's going to protect us in the back. He's going to protect us in the front. He's going to protect us above and beneath and around us. He's always there for us as a protection as our security so don't fool yourselves this morning thinking that he's not watching don't fool yourself this morning thinking that he doesn't know don't fool yourself thinking that he's not there hallelujah he is there he is your protector he is your keeper he is your comforter and my brothers and sisters he will guide he will protect you he will cover you and so this morning that's what i want us to do to set our minds set our minds like an alarm clock set our minds and, and, and access that bank that we have inside of us loaded with scriptures so we know when we speak to him, he will listen. He will hear us. He will hear your cry. He will hear your cry. He will hear your cry. And you know what? He will show up for you. He will show up for you and show out. Set your minds on things above. Not on earthly things. Not on earthly things, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And God is always going to be there for you. He will be there for you. He's never going to go back on his promises. Never going to go back on his promises. He's going to be there for you and cover us. Father, we thank you again for this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking to our hearts, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for always being there for us. You're always there, Jesus. Always there for us lord and so we are grateful this morning grateful extremely grateful this morning for your protection for your protection of our lives we pray dear god that this word this morning will bless our hearts as we give you glory and honor and we give you praise in jesus name amen and amen